Welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I've uploaded a digital art piece process video, so I thought I'd upload this one that I actually had a lot of trouble with. It was kind of an experimental painting where I wanted to try doing more of a painterly style than my usual outline and flat colors. So I wanted to just do a simple portrait with some dramatic lighting and really blended out shading and everything. I started off as usual with the sketch and then blocking in colors. I'm using Procreate on my iPad by the way. My iPad, 13 inch iPad and Procreate Apple Pencil and I use mostly the technical pencil or 6B pencil to sketch with and then for the blending and painting I use the the round painting brush I guess along with the smudging tool I was kind of experimenting a lot with the brushes in this one so can't really help you out if you're trying to use the same exact ones I would just say to experiment a little bit with all the brushes and see which ones you like most you can always tweak them a little bit to make them more to your liking. <laughs> I think the troubles I had in this drawing were mostly structural. I didn't really plan it out very well. I kind of just started drawing, adding details and painting before I really knew what I wanted to do. And so you'll, you're going to see me flip the canvas a lot and kind of move things around after I've already finished painting. <laughs> I really did have a lot of fun with this one though, with the blending. I was using a lot of transparent layers and not opaque paint brushes, kind of slowly blending things out and then smudging to make it look like it's more blended. It seems like it's actually a really good practice for painting with oils. It seems kind of similar actually. There's one thing that's weird about painting digitally that all of my instructors in art school kind of had a thing against digital art, most of them at least. They said that it makes you finicky. The fact that you have the option to undo and move things around so easily makes your drawing less thought out, I guess they say. Um, like when you're painting traditionally, you have to really think about your drawing and perfect it before you start anything else. And with digital art, you can always go back and undo things and um, they always thought that digital art makes for a weaker drawing, but that's not really the case. I mean, it really depends on the artist. In this case, they were kind of right, because I didn't plan it out very well, and then I ended up, you know, moving things around later on, and I'm happy with the blending on this piece, but I'm not really happy with, like, the composition, I guess. But it's really important with any medium to really plan out your drawing before you do anything. And by plan it out, I mean measure things, make sure your proportions are correct, make sure your perspective is right, flip it over somehow, like look it in, in the mirror and make sure it looks right in all directions. <laughs> That's kind of the thing that I found is the best way to improve your artwork. If you're an artist who is kind of stuck and you feel like your artwork isn't up to par with what you know you could do, but you don't know how to fix it. I think the best thing you could do is to really take longer time with the drawing process before you start painting or doing anything enjoyable. You really have to delay gratification and make sure your basic drawing is perfect before you go on. And if you don't know what I mean by looking in the mirror, Bring your picture up to a mirror and actually look at it through the mirror. Flipping the canvas makes you see it in a different way because sometimes when you're drawing in one view for a long time, things can get a little weird looking and you don't really realize until you see it from another direction or even if you step away for a while and come back to it. If you're using digital art, you can flip your canvas and kind of work that way also. It's good to do it often too. So I hope that helps you guys if any of you are feeling stuck with your artwork. Feeling is
I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung best believe the other ring on my wrist is gold. Pairing with the light it holds. When I return from my spinning ball, I'm remembering the words you told me. take some time for this video to talk about the sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. I'm sure all of you know what Audible is, but in case you don't, it is a website and app that lets you rent out an unmatched selection of audiobooks, shows, news, comedy, and anything from all the leading audiobook publishers. If you've ever wanted to read a book but you don't have the time or you feel like you could be drawing during that time, you can go to Audible and listen to the book instead. It's so useful. My favorite thing to do is to buy an audiobook and just listen to it while I'm painting. Sometimes the books you choose can really affect your paintings as well. It's really fun actually. One of my favorite audiobooks to listen to while painting is Harry Potter. Growing up, I loved the books. I reread them so many times, and I actually haven't done it in a while. I found that now I don't really have the time to pick up a book and actually give it my full attention because I usually have work to do or paintings to finish. And with audiobooks, I can just listen and paint and give both my full attention. It's pretty amazing. So if you want to try out Audible, you can go to audible.com slash Jacqueline or you can text Jacqueline to 500-500 to get one free audiobook and a 30-day free trial. Plus, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get three months of Audible for $4.95 a month for the first three months. That's like getting three months for the price of one. So again, go to audible.com slash Jacqueline or text Jacqueline to 500-500 to get a free audiobook and a 30-day free trial. Anyway, I hope watching this process helped you guys out with painting digitally. I want to do more painterly pieces kind of like this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I reach through mysterious ceilings. My home